Welcome everybody to another World of Tech episode. Today's episode we're going to show you how to forcefully quit an application that will not close on its own. Now, the chances of you actually needing something like this is going to be slim to none. Basically because Ubuntu doesn't require that much memory nor RAM or hard drive space, it's really quick and, well, shouldn't have problems like this. But who knows, maybe if you're running the minimum spec, sometimes it might. So, first thing I want to do, we're just going to open up a simple app. I don't really have any applications that are going to lock up on me. I mean, I could do this all day and it's not going to do anything uh, bad for me. Um, and just to prove that's not locked up for you guys, I'm going to just do the basic 5 plus 5 is 10. Now, say that this app wouldn't close. I'm hitting X, hitting X, it won't close. Well, thanks to this little gadget right here, I can forcefully quit it. Click, click and there we go it's gone now how to get that there we'll show you now to add this you can either use your top bar or your bottom bar and in future videos we will no longer have the bottom bar that is down here and that's just basically because we don't really see the point of having it when we can have a cool little docking station so instead we're gonna put it on this one right there but if you want, you could put it right there as well. It just depends on where you want to put it. So we're going to go right here. We're going to go to right click this. And after you do that, you'll notice add panel. After you get to add panel, you're going to see a lot of settings. Uh, some of them you can play around with. Uh, I guess it's kind of a cool thing, but this is what we want. We want force quit, and that's right there. And what this will allow you to do is misbehaving programs, you can automatically force quit. So we're going to click that, we're going to add it, and there you go. Now that app is now right there. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> so just to show you again, we'll open up another thing, calculate it again. And we'll just type in, hit a whole bunch of numbers, plus this number equals that number. And eh, we don't like that. Let's quit it. There you go. It's quick, easy, and simple. Now, you may be asking, what happens if I am used to Windows and I hit Control-Alt-Delete? Will that mess up the computer? No. Actually, by doing that, you're just going to bring up the shut down the computer options. You can shut it, restart, suspend, or hibernate your computer, whatever you want to do. So... I mean, it's a choice of yours, I guess, but I just like this like this. So that's it for today's show. It's a quick little simple episode. Hope you guys got your little uh, information you needed. And as we say here, get plugged in.